Hello, my name is Ren. Uh, in the last episode, we looked at how to create a open level setup inside Unreal Engine, but we noticed that as we changed our health and went to a new level, that the data didn't save and move over. And the reason for this is because we didn't save any data when we touched those objects. So to set that up, we need to create a save game data class. So if we right click and create a new blueprint class and type in save game inside the all classes dropdown box, We'll create a game save data class. So we'll call this our game save. Now inside here we have the variables, which are the variables that we're going to be saving. So if we call this health and we set that to a float to mimic the variable that we're going to be saving later on. So once we've got that variable, we can go to our character and we can start coding how it gets loaded and saved. So the first thing that we need to do is check if some game save data exists. So it does save game exist. And what it asks for is a slot name. So we'll promote this to a variable and we'll call it a save data name. And this is the name of the slot that we're saving to. So once we compile, we'll be able to actually set the variable of that and we'll call it the health save. So once we've named this, every time that we ever load or save data, we'll use this string to make sure that we're loading from the same slot name. And you can also have a user index. So if this was set to user index 1, it would load the same data and create the same classes, but it would be saving it inside the index of 1, which means that we can have different save files for our games. So the next thing we need to do is branch off of whether this is existing or not. And if it doesn't exist, we need to create some saved game data. So we just type create save data. And if it does exist, we just need to load the save data. So load game from slot. And we know that we have a slot name already, so we'll just drag that straight in. And when we create the save game object, we want to make sure that it's of the class that we made, so our game save. And the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we save this class uh, as a variable, and we'll call it current save. And we'll do this for both. Once we've saved that, we'll be able to control, drag, this current save out and we need to cast it to our game save. So we make sure that the slot that we've just loaded is now cast to our custom one that we made. So we'll cast that on both ends whether it exists or doesn't exist. And the next thing that we want to do is the top half is based on it already existing so we need to load and the bottom half is based off of it not existing so we're creating it. So when we create it we want to make sure that our variable inside here, which is health, is set to the current health of the player, which is default to 100. So we'll cast and save that. And if it does already exist, we want to be loading it in. So we want to set our current health to be equal to the health that's stored within our save game data. So we'll set that up just there. Now the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we're saving all this data back into our current save within the actual engine. So if we type save slot and do this for both of the paths, make sure that we're using our save data name. And the reason we use this variable is so that we never mistype it because it's only ever typed once and we're just referencing that name every time. And we need to make sure that we're also using the current save that we made an instance of just over here when we loaded or created a new one. So if we drag that in, the last thing that we need to do is make sure that we save the data of the current health to the health variable within our save data and save that slot every time that we touch a object. So what we can do is copy these nodes here Go to our change health function, drag them in, and do the same set of conditions. So you need to drag all these variables in. Now when we save this and press play, we'll be able to touch these health objects. We'll go to the top of our level, collect our key. Now when we change level, we load into the next one, you'll notice that our health is changing along with the levels because it's loading and saving from that save data object that we made. 
Now you can use that save data object to hold the name of a level that you got to, for example. And you could use that to keep progression in your game. You could also use it to save the objects that the player had last when he left the game. Or you can use it to create checkpoints. So that's a simple way of creating save data inside our game. So in the next session, we're going to be looking at how to control AI within our 2D games so that we have some simple enemies to interact with within the world. So thanks very much guys, and we'll see you next time.